find area, we need to make squares. To make squares, we need 90 degrees. So if we take a look at this, the, this area of the triangle and we take these two lines, this angle here is not 90 degrees. So if I multiply these two numbers, I will not make squares. So what has to happen is I need to make a 90 degree line. And I need to know the length of that 90 degree line. If I know the length of that 90 degree line, I can multiply length and width to get squares. And that allows me to find the number of squares to make this triangle. Now, when we do this, we will get double the area. If I do length times width, those two lines, the 90 degree line, I'll get a rectangle. And I only want half of this rectangle. So the formula for the area of a triangle is going to be base times height. So the bottom line times that vertical line. And then we only want half of it because we don't want the whole rectangle because we'll end up getting this shape, but we only want exactly half of that to make the rect triangle. So the first thing is I have to figure out this height, which I'm going to call H. To do that, I'm going to use this right triangle. And I can use Pythagoras theorem to work that out. So I know that height squared, it's a shorter side, so I'm going to take the longer side square and subtract the four shorter side square. So I end up with 64 minus 16. So h squared is 48. So h works out to be square root of 48. And that's approximately the square root of 48. It's just under, it's just under 7. So if I do square root 48, it's going to be 6.92. Eight, so I'm going to round that to 9, 3. So to find the area of the triangle is going to be base, which is 8, times the height, which is square root 48, or 6.93, and then divide it by 2. I end up with 4 root 48. As a decimal, that works out to be approximately... 8 times 6.93 divided by 2, I get about 27.72, in this case, meters squared, meters squared. So I was making squares here to find area. To find surface area and volume, well, volume is going to be fairly straightforward. I just need to find the area of a, of a side where I make slices, every slice is going to be the same area. If that's the case, then I take the area and multiply it by the thickness. So I'm going to find this area here. Uh, looks like I need to, to find this area. I need the 90 degree lines. I have 25, which is along the hypotenuse. So I still need to find this length here. I'll call x. So x squared is equal to the long side squared minus the shorter side squared. So that works out to be 625 minus 225. x squared is 400. When I square root 400, I end up with a length of 20. So this is 20 centimeters. So then, working out the area of the side surface, I'm going to say it's the area of the triangle, it's going to be, I've got my 90 degree lines to make squares, so 15 times 20, but I only want half of that rectangle, so I'm going to divide it by 2, so I end up with 150 centimeters squared. So that's going to be that red area there. Now, to make volume, volume, I multiply it by its thickness. I take that area and give it some thickness, and that thickness is 5 centimeters. So volume is going to be equal to the area, 150 centimeters squares, times the thickness to make cubes. So I'm going to multiply that by 5 centimeters. 
and I'm going to make cubes by doing that. So the volume works out to be 150 times 5 is going to be 750 centimeters squared times centimeters gives me my cube shapes that I'm doing, using to measure that area, sorry, to measure that volume. So the volume is equal to 750 cubes. So the volume is going to be easier than the net and the surface area because the surface area is not that it's harder, it's just that there's many surfaces that we have to keep track of. And if you're able to keep track of all the surfaces, then we should be able to do this without too much problem. So that triangle surface is a one surface and it's going to be 150. The rest of the surfaces look like this. So we need to draw a net. I'm going to have a long side here, kind of a longer, longish side here. So I have one surface. I know that the opposite side must be the same, 150. The bottom surface is going to be 15 times 5, or 75 squares. This surface here, maybe I'll color code this, this surface here, which I've done in yellow is going to be this one here. We have the length and width. It's going to be 25 by 5. So it's going to be 25 times 5 is 125. The back side is going to be 20 times 5, which is 100. Just making sure I've accounted for all the surfaces. There's five surfaces. So to calculate the surface area, I just add up the surfaces. So I end up with 100 plus 75 plus 150 plus 150 plus 125. When I add that all up, I end up with like 300 and 200 is 500 plus 100. Works out to be 600 centimeters squared represents my surface area for this object. And again, it involved the surface area involves just making sure you keep track of all the sides and your counting has to be good. A net is there to help and often you will be required to, to draw a net.